Hello guys and welcome back to another video. Today I'll be teaching you how to use the Grow app for tutorial for beginners. So first off, what is Grow you may ask. So Grow is a website platform. It's an online web-based trading platform that provides its customers with an enriching online trading experience. This platform allows the clients to explore stocks, mutual funds, digital gold, and place orders online track transaction and invest in ipos so if you're wondering if it's in safe to invest in grow well yes grow dmat accounts are really safe so if you ask what dmat is so dmat is a dmat account is a, where you store your stocks and a trading account is where you used to trade your stocks so they're very very safe so they they are open with the central depository service limited or more commonly known as cdsl so grow acts as an intermediate tree between the customer and the central depository so there you go guys that is grow so grow you should know how to understand and analyze the stocks that you're getting into so you should analyze the news basically uh, check for websites whatever so here in grow you can actually see stocks in use so here you will see that there are different types of stocks that you want to look for so let's just say for now and here in tata motors there are really very fundamental details here such as the overview events and news today's highs lows and here in the news there you go to redirect you to another website so Tata Motors that was done on CNG variants as demand surges so that's a good thing for Tata Motors if you're an investor and you want to trade using grow so there you go guys that's an overview of what you should really do in stocks using grow so the first stuff that you should actually do is go ahead and download the website so you're supposed to have your basic info, you should have your photo ready, uh, password photo to be exact, and you should sign up in forms. Uh, you can do some other things too, like um, attach some documents that are really useful for verifying your identity, such as driver's license or voter's ID. So actually just go to the grow website or you can actually download it from the app store but unfortunately it's not pretty available in my country so i'll just demonstrate it to you by word by word so you just download grow and go to open it up then to ask you for your phone number so just enter down your phone number and then there after you have entered your phone number it will ask you for an otp which you will enter in there website order application once you have done that it will actually ask you to put in your basic info such as male i mean your gender if it's male or female your basic date of birth your name first name last name and so on so forth so after that you can enter your bank details and such for the purchase and selling of stocks or buying actually the stocks then after that you should upload your passport sized photo after that it will ask you to record the three second video for your identity verification so unlike other requirements where they have to send a representative to verify if it's really you here you just have to record a three second video so that they will to be sure that it's really you who's entering your account and not a robot or something like that so after you have record your video you actually there that's why you place the other types of documents that you need such as your voters id and other things that verifies your identity even further and last but not least it will need your signature to be placed online so just write it down in a piece of paper white background perhaps then then just upload the photo and there you go guys so the next thing we're gonna discuss is how to buy stocks so basically 
how to buy stocks is just we have to search the stocks that we're gonna buy so let's just say airtel there you go so there you go you will see that the range of stocks right here from high to low it's shareholding it's events overview everything else will be seen right here so you can see it's highest and lows you can see right there how much it has been gaining in the market recently and there you go so to buy shares you just press buy now and it will redirect you actually but as i said it's not available in my country so i'll just say the, say the instructions to you by step by step so to buy shares it will just say what type you want to buy if you want to buy shares through nse just select that and then you'll have to select if you want to buy through the price limit or buy by price market so by the price market it will buy it by exactly how much it is right now but if you want a price limit for example it's 872 right here so when you set it to price limit to when it goes to 860 it will automatically buy it when it goes to 860 for you and there you go just add your money after that after adding your money you have it will have to be confirmed just enter your certain details that's needed and there you go you have bought the shares already so next up is our ipo so we just search that up here so for applying for ipo let's just say you want to do this just apply for it but as i said it's not really available in my country so i cannot operate it here in my phone so i'll just show you or just tell you how to do it step by step so just apply to a certain ipo you want to buy stocks from so you would say there how much share you want to buy so you want to bid your price right there and then after that you will have to upload your upi id and there you go it will ask you to continue and then just press continue and then you go to confirmation slide and there you go it's just simple as that that's how you buy shares in the ipo it's just very simple the grow app is really easy to use since it's very simple interface very very friendly user so for commonly asked questions like what is the minimum amount to invest in the grow app there is no minimum trading limit yet our their broker partner allows you to invest as little as 0.001 shares of any stock and that's how much you can really minimum to invest in grow and there you go so if you're asking what are the disadvantage of using the grow app there are limited investment products with no option to trade in with the commodity and currency segment there's no call and trade services they do not provide stock tips research reports or recommendations but yet there are actually news there that you can monitor it from it's just really up to you so do not offer to invest in sme shares or companies listed on bsme i mean bse or sme and nse emerge platforms and to wrap it up that's how you use the grow app and thank you for watching this video